Hallelujah. And if you have nothing to celebrate today about anybody else, look at yourself and say, God, you're a good God. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh, hallelujah. And you may not have, you may not have it all as your heart's desire. Maybe it's not even too good for you anyway. But the mindset you're in, you may say, I don't have it all as I desire to. But still say, God is a good God. Oh, hallelujah. Can I get a witness in the house? Because we serve a good, good God. Put your hands together and give God the praise. <laughs> praise God. We thank the Lord for those who are viewing in today. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the Our Faith Broadcast. And we just pray that you receive blessing as you continue to bless the Lord. Is that amen? amen? Praise God. Get your Bibles and stand with me. Let us go to the book of Galatians chapter 5. Our evangelist said, when we get there, no sign us. Business will go on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. We have a new body. So we don't have to deal with the drainage and all that stuff that's going on in the body. Hallelujah. Because God is a good God. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to read the first seven verses, but before we read, let's just pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today, for your word and your power. Have your own sweet divine way now. Go before and do the work yourself. Let's just submit ourselves today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Chapter 5 of Galatians, it says... Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where it Christ had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. He did run well. Who did hinder you that he should not obey the truth? Praise God. This is the word of the Lord. It's already blessed. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I want to use for a subject, that's the first line of the of chapter. Stand fast in the liberty of Christ. Hallelujah. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty of Christ. Hallelujah. We are on the verge of what it seems like Everybody is asking for liberty, to use another word which means the same, freedom. Freedom. Freedom is a big responsibility. When you, on the rules and regulation to some degree, you dot your eye. And you cross your T. Because somebody say, this is what you ought to do. Let's use an example of the job. You get the job. You're assigned to do certain things. There's a supervisor over you. And he gives you your schedule and you know your rotation, what you ought to do. And even if you feel like you don't want to, you do it. Because your supervisor is going to come. And he or she will check to see if the work is done. And they may give you a certain amount of time to get it accomplished. And so you do everything to make sure it's done. Freedom is not carelessness. Freedom is responsibility. Freedom is not your friend watching over you. Is you watching over you. 
Freedom is not your friend suggesting that you should or you should not. It is you have to make that decision whether you should or should not. Freedom is not somebody asking you to be responsible. Freedom is you have to be responsible. Can I get a witness here? Freedom doesn't carry blame unless we are blaming ourselves. Oh, hallelujah. Because if I'm free to do what I want to do, I can't blame nobody else for what I did or what I do but myself. Oh, hallelujah. And so we see it so many times in our own lives and even in the lives of others, even the young people that they say, oh, I'm just dying to get out of my parents' house. I can't wait for 18 to come. I'm going to go to college. And I've already made up in my mind to go to a college way out of state. They have to catch three planes to come and see me. Because all I'm looking for is freedom. Oh, hallelujah. Can I get a witness in the house? And so it seemed like this freedom is wonderful. And freedom is truly a wonderful thing. It seemed like this freedom that they, that they anchor for, oh, it's liberty to do what I want to do when I want to do it. But what we all forget that it carries with it serious responsibilities. Oh, hallelujah. When I go to the store and buy a pair of shoes and fool deceive myself that I wear eight when I wear a ten. And snuck my foot in it and then said, oh, it feels okay. And then come home. And by the time I get home and try it again. And go through the door on my way to the event. Oh, what's going on? It started pain. I can't blame the store owner. Am I talking right? It's my responsibility. To make sure I pick a pair of shoes that fit my feet. Can I get a witness here? It's my responsibility to choose the one I like. And sometimes we come home and we curse the store owner. What kind of ugly shoes is this? You had the freedom to choose a, a pretty one. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. It's not the store owner's fault. It's not the dressmaker's fault. It is your style. Can I get a witness here? It is the style you saw on somebody else that you conclude and determine. It will look good on you. Forgetting that your figure and their figure is two different figures. Oh, hallelujah. Freedom carries serious responsibility. Don't blame me for your freedom. All of us need love and want freedom. Can I get a witness here? Even Jesus comes and he said, I'm pulling you out of bondage and I'm setting you free. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. And Paul said, stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made us free and be no more entangled ourselves in the yoke of bondage. So we said we want to be free. I want to be free to do what I want to do. I want to be independent. Am I talking right? I want to free from the reign of my parents. I want to free from the reign of my pastor. I want to free from the reign of my elders or leaders, brothers and sisters. I just want to be free. The first time I experienced that level of freedom in the natural, it scares me. You know what? I was away from my mom. Far away. I was in a room all by myself. Don't know nobody. And I'm wondering if I'm going to sleep tonight. Or what? And for three quarters of the night, I just lie there. My eyes wide open. Can't sleep. Never been on my own before. Am I talking right? And no sooner I woke up, I realized, hey, you got to go wash your face. Mama ain't asking you or reminding you to go wash your face. Am I talking right? Got to go brush your teeth. It is free. These are the responsibilities. And, and, and sooner that I realized, hey, I got to get ready for school. And she's not there to say, get your clothes on and get out of here. Can I get a witness here? 
Oh, hallelujah. And soon uh, I realized I got to comfort myself because mama is not there anymore uh, for me to lean on her shoulder. Uh, and all this responsibility uh, comes up on me. Uh, and not only that, I realize uh, that I can do what I want to do. Uh, therefore, I have to be careful what I do. Because I'm free to do what I want to do. We are suffering today from what we're free to do what we want to do. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. We are where we are today because we were free. I'm talking in the natural now. We were free to do what we want to do. When somebody said, hey, hey, hold on. No, 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 no. no. I'm independent. I'm my own person. I go do what I want to do. And now we have to live by the consequence. Can I get a witness here? We are going through the consequence of all those decisions we make because we said we were free. But freedom is not being irresponsible. Freedom is being responsible. Responsible. Oh, can I get a witness in the house? You got to be responsible for your, be responsible for your action. For what you say and what you do. And nobody is going to take the fall for you. Can I get a witness here? You got to handle that one for yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Nobody's going to do it for you. So Paul said, hey, stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, now, this is the time when we need to stand. Turn to your neighbor and say, we need to stand. If you don't know what you believe, you ain't going to stand for nothing. Am I talking right? I'm not talking about you. You know what you believe, but No. You have to be firm in what you build. If never a time, you have to be firm in what you build. And I'm not talking about doctrine. I'm not talking about okay, doctrine goes and doctrine comes. Doctrine change overnight. I'm not talking about doctrine. I'm talking about believing in the word of Almighty God. Can I get a witness here? Believe what God's word says. Know what he says to you and know who he says you are. Can I get a witness here? This is the time when everybody's standing up for their own truth. And we as the people of God must stand up not for our truth but for God's truth. Can I get a witness here? And know what we believe. We are free to choose and we must choose right because everybody is standing now because freedom is what everybody needs. Liberty is what everybody wants. Liberty to do, you don't tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. Our freedom is not in works. I'm sorry for those of us who are working for the Lord and believe that's where our freedom is. Because we can be a devil and be the best worker in the vineyard. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. <sighs> working for the Lord. Working for the Lord doesn't give you freedom. I believe what gives us freedom is working with Christ. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh, hallelujah. Working for God doesn't give you freedom. A whole lot of people is working for God uh, and they're still bound. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Because when you work for God, you do what you want to do, when you want to do it, and how you want to do it. When you're working with Christ, uh, you move as Christ moves. Uh, you work as Christ works. Uh, you do as Christ does. Uh, because you're not working for him, uh, but you're working with him. Come on and put your hands together and tell the Lord, thank you. So freedom, Paul says to the Galatians, please don't get back yourself entangled in circumcision. The works of the flesh. The works of the flesh today in the tabernacle seems to want to outdo the work of the spirit. Because my witness is that I'm a good worker, so I'm a good Christian. I clean the church. I wipe the altar. I sweep outside. I pick up the chair. I do everything that needs to be done. I assist, I help. And that, no, that doesn't make me a good Christian. Am I talking right? The works of the flesh have its place.
But without the spirit, it's useless. Because we are not here laboring for a reward in the works of the flesh. Because if that was the case, what about the folks who can't physically do anything in the flesh? Who are ill, don't have proper health. And so all they can do is pray. C can that person go to heaven? You're sure they can go to heaven. They can live for the Lord. They can pray and move mountain. They can do so much for God. They can pray and fast and heal. Bless and baptize in the Holy Ghost. Paul said, don't reverse ourselves and go back to circumcision, to the works of the flesh, the rudiments of the devil. Don't go back to bondage. Don't go back to law. Don't go back to sin. Stand fast in the freedom. Hold your ground in the liberty hold your crown in your deliverance Christ makes you free and who the son sets free is free indeed come on and put your hands together and tell the Lord thank you freedom the responsibility of freedom a wife that doesn't have a husband she did have but then she don't have anymore if she's honest enough, she'll tell you. It's difficult when she realizes that she don't have her husband anymore. Because she finally woke up in the morning and realized, I don't have to get up and make breakfast. Talk to me here. Now, what is she going to do that breakfast time? Seriously. I don't have to get his clothes ready anymore. I mean, if you were doing it before. Come on now. If you were doing it before. Am I talking right? But let, let's skip all of that. Because you weren't doing none of that. These ladies nowadays, they are so cripsy and pincy. That they don't, they don't bother to do all that cooking, washing. Do you know these new ladies now? Is all the men doing the cooking? L let me stay in the subject. You don't want to hear it. Where are the young men in the house? Even though you're still in school. Here a pastor said, the girls are nowadays, they, they, they do all the other stuff and you do the cooking. They don't have the tolerance for all that we call that whole time stuff. So, so let's leave that. Even if you weren't doing none of the domestic chores, you were just being the wife your husband wanted you to be. You finally woke up and realized Hey, I'm out here from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. And I don't get a call to ask me, where am I? Is everything okay? Am I talking right? You said if my husband was here, I would have to go home by now. Can I get a witness there? Hallelujah. And so that causes you to look at how you are behaving. Look at how you are monitoring yourself. Look at what you are doing with your time because things change. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. And now you realize you are responsible for going out there and coming in back on time. Can I get a witness here? Because now there's no more, no more husband to say A, B, C, or D. Freedom carries responsibility. People blame us Deacon Mark all the time because they have freedom. They do what they do and then come and point finger and blame you. You weren't there when they were doing it. Am I talking right? They say it's a mistake. Okay. We all make mistake. Then deal with it. It's not me make it, it's you make it. But we can't blame anybody. So Paul said, do not get yourself entangled back in the works of the flesh. Don't go back down the road again. Don't get yourself entangled with society and all that they offer. Remain in Jesus Christ. Stand in Jesus Christ. Do not run with the crowd. Can I preach you today? Don't run with the crowd. Run with Jesus. Let me tell you something, church. Whether it's one party or the other party, they're all in power. The only free people that's on the face of the earth is the children of the most high God. Let's not turn around and run with the children of bondage.
days for we are free we are free we are free we are free in Jesus Christ we are free come on ahead me preacher today hallelujah if you're a Democrat you're in bondage if you're a Republican you're in bondage if you're a conservative you're in bondage if you're a liberal you're in bondage if you're far left, you're in bondage. If you're far right, you're in bondage. But if you're in Jesus Christ, you are free. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And if you're living in sin, you're in bondage. For those who live in sin, become a slave to sin. And slave have no say. Slave have to do what the master say. Can I get a witness? Miss here. Glory to God. Stand fast in the liberty, man. And be no more entangle yourself again in the yoke of bondage. Why are we doing that? Why are we going that way? Let's stay and track. We'll be asked about time spent and space occupied. Hallelujah. Move the politics out and get the praise in. You got the wrong P in your view. Get the politics out and start ringing the praises. We are children of the most high God to ring in the praises. We are the salt of the earth. Don't get mad with me because of politics. That's foolishness. Let's join together and lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Can I, can I, oh, can I preach here today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus of mercy. We hear the same stuff every four years. And we behave. You know what used to grieve my mom? And she would beat us. She get the opportunity to when she, and when she could. You know what grieves her many times? It's when she cook good food and give us. And we eat it. We eat it. And we enjoy it. And we go outside. And somebody makes something. Maybe the same thing too. And we eat it up and look like we are star. And she give us the eye. And you see, when we get near to her, <laughs> she say, you, acting like you don't know good food. I gave you good food. And you go by systematic. And eating like you. Like you never know what good food is. Oh, can I get a witness here? Man, you don't repeat that again another time. That's how we behave. As if we never heard it before. We have been hearing it. Uh, here after here, the same thing. And every time we jump, this is a new thing. It's not a new thing. The only new thing we have is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Let me preach the word. I know we don't want to hear, but let me preach it. Because we don't want to hear about politics but we're going to preach it because our heart is not in the right place we can't have a conversation because of politics come on man you ain't republican you ain't democrat you're a blood wash born again holy ghost child of almighty god can i get a witness here Woo. that's who we are that's who we really are. That's who we truly are. Blood wash. Born again. Child of God. Hallelujah. What's wrong with us? Falling here after year for the same story. For the same thing. Oh, hallelujah. 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 It's our right to vote. And your vote should be personal. 
it should be private. You are not under no obligation to tell nobody who you vote for. Can I get a witness here? And I encourage us all who have a vote to vote. Hallelujah. But the president, the president is not the center of our joy. Can I get a witness here? The opposition is not the center of our joy. The candidate running is not the center of our joy. Jesus is the center of our joy. Let's look unto him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Oh, oh, I'm not talking to you because you are a Ray. I'm not talking to you because you are a D. What kind of nonsense is that? You don't talk to me. Me washing the blood. You washing the blood. The world don't understand this, but you and I understand this. You ain't talking to me. And I'm not talking to you. Because of what? Are we serious? Can I get a witness here? When we have the same daddy, washing the same blood, all of a sudden now, that which God pulled us out of, we're going back to entangle ourselves in. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? When I was hungry, who did I call? When I'm naked, who did I call? When I'm thirsty, who did I call? When I was confused, who did I call? When I was sick, who did I call? Can I get a witness here? How am I going to talk something different? Hold your position in God. Hallelujah. Seek his face. Don't get entangled again in the yoke of bondage. We are the only seen people on the face of the earth. We are the only one that can see. And I'm not talking about natural sight now. We are the only one with the spiritual eyes. To see, can I get a witness here? The carnal man cannot discern the things of God. I'm talking to God's people now. Can I get a witness here? The unsaved man cannot discern the things of God. But those of us who are washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ can discern the things of God. This is not surprising to us. We knew this was coming. We know about this for a long time. Oh, the Bible tells us so. We read the book. Can I get a witness here? And the book said, look up. Look up. When you see the abomination, when you see the desolation, look up. No time to look down. Look up. If you're looking at man, you're looking down. If you're looking at president, you're looking down. If you're looking at governors, you're looking down. If you're looking at senators, you're looking down. You gotta look up. For redemption, redemption. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The redeemed are getting ready. He called up Oshanda. Hallelujah! To gather home. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God is getting ready. Ah, yeah, yeah. To call his children. Come on. It's almost supper time. Can I get a witness here? It's almost supper time. Do not get entangled in the yoke of bondage. Do not follow blind people. Do not follow dumb people. Do not follow deaf people. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Look unto him. Look unto him. Look unto him. Look unto him. For we shall behold them face to face in all of his glory. We shall, we shall behold him, Jesus our Lord. Oh, oh, hallelujah. If never time, we need to be united 
Listen up. Hallelujah. 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 Our responsibility as the people of God who are free is to pray for those who are in leadership. Because whatever decision they make, it affects us. Can I get a witness here? We are not sent here to love him or to hate him. We are here to pray for him. Whoever he may be. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That's our responsibility. Hallelujah. And then we must love one another. Keep the fire burning. Can I get a witness here? Let nothing come between you and me and Jesus. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh, hallelujah. But we're in the same boat. Sailing on the same ship. If Christ in the vessel, Jesus have mercy. He got our back us. And he goes smile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a witness here? At the storm. Oh, hallelujah. Freedom is what everybody needs. Huh? We have the freedom of speech. Not true. Yes. Folks, what they want to say? Yes. Oh, you can't stop them. They have a right to say what they want to say. Yes. My son used to tell me when he was four and five, this is a free country. I don't know where you go going to hear that. Talk to him. This is a free country. I can say what I want to say. This is America. Little, and he said, uh, and he's very forceful, you know, as, as small as he was. And then the Caribbean started to come out of me. <laughs> I said, look at him good. He was always tall. I didn't have to look down too far. <laughs> I said, this is a free country? <laughs> yes. I said, go back. Go tell them, say. <laughs> I don't even know if you understood it at the time. <laughs> me say, you go back. And you go tell them, say, me say, when you come in here. <laughs> How many of you I'm talking about? Freedom of speech. Folks say what they want to say. They have the right to say it. And if they cross the line, you can sue them for defamation of character and sue them for slander. Can I get a witness here? But if it's an opinion, they are entitled to their opinion. Not true. Every time we have meeting, you're entitled to your opinion. Some of what Mr. Members mean, you don't agree with me. But maybe you're respect you not tell me. <laughs> but you go behind me back and say, oh, but it's not true. But it's true. We have family discussion. Wife and children. And I speak. And they don't agree with me. Are you here? Language you can't interpret. Because everybody talking under their breath. You know what they say? What is it? Say what you have to say. And then they say, okay, all right. All right. No, no, it's nothing. Nothing causes you to speak Spanish. Whatever the language is, talk to me here. Freedom of speech. We're entitled to our opinion. Whether right or wrong, we're entitled to our own opinion. So folks said, I have that and I'm going to use it. Then we have freedom of the press. Talk to me here. They saw you walk through your door and go in your house and they say you walk through the window. They don't have to prove anything. They just say it. Am I talking right? Then we have freedom of religion. Talk to me, church. Come on, come on, come on. You worship your God. Can I get a witness here? You worship your God the way you choose to. It's all about responsibility. Not everybody can handle freedom. Can I get a witness here? Sometimes somebody needs somebody over them every time to say, look where you put the dollar. Look where you put the dollar. Listen to me. Can I preach it? When we get money, you know, when we have a good piece of money, you know, my hand. 
my wife have a job beside me now. And he said, Bishop, me know you, you know. Me know you. What are you going to do now? Not as I'm a squanderer. No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't reach where I am if I was. But I will see something. And without a thought, I just know that I want it and I just buy it. And she said, no, 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 you, no, no. And, and I saw it go. We don't really need it. We want it, but that could stay. Talk to me here. Responsibility. When you are free, something you don't know what to do with yourself. Talk to me here. That's why Paul said, the freedom that we have is in Christ Jesus. So he steers us. He balances us. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> I, ooh, we're, not, we're not let go without a leader or a curve. He's our balance. He's with us. Our freedom is in him. And what he do, we do. What he say, we say. Where he goes, we go. Can I get a witness here? He's our balance. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. He gave us the Holy Spirit to remind us, hallelujah, of all things and to keep us in check and to keep us in balance so we don't go overboard but we balance our walk, our talk and our daily lives hallelujah freedom of religion to worship God freedom the right to assemble we have that hmm? the right to assemble to come together like now and fellowship. Talk to me here. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care what nobody says about this country. If you're here, you'll find a problem. You have to know what to do, but I don't care what nobody says about this country. This country is a wonderful country. Don't better get quiet at me because it's true. This country. I didn't say it perfect. Me say it is a wonderful country. There is opportunity. There's open doors. I'm, I'm, talk to me here. You look for it, you find it. It's not perfect. Have a lot of scars. Have a lot of downside. And nothing is perfect. But it got opportunity. There's open doors. If you look for it, you'll, you don't have to come here and turn worthless. If you, look, if you have any ambition, any at all. Can, can, can I talk here? You can find your way. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The right to assemble and praise to God. Have your meeting. Do what you want to do. It's called freedom. And we even have the freedom to petition the government. Am I talking right? Uh -huh. Isn't that true? In the island, we can petition no government. By the time we come out and say we will petition government, then burn down we house. But 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 I'm not true me at all. But you can't petition government. JLP and PMP can't live together, you know. I knew a couple. It's not a story, it's a real thing. One is PNP and one is JLP. One of them have high blood pressure, and one of them have high blood sugar. The lady have high blood pressure. No, the man have high blood pressure and the lady, the wife have high blood sugar. Listen, my church. No joke. When you go, if you don't see her for a day or two, you have to go check. Because she's a PNP. And when the sugar get too high and it knock her out, wherever she fainted, she stay right there. So her friends always have to go look to make sure she's okay. One day I went there and I passed her husband in the yard. The rain fell, wet him up. And I called and I said, oh, your husband's out there. She said, that dirty labor, right? Make him stay there. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. He's a JLP. She's a PNP. When she faint, he said, make she stay. And when he passed out, she said, make him stay. 
they live in the same house. Am I talking right? It's only here in America. Democrat and Republican can sit down side by side. Oh, don't get quiet on me now. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Far right and far left. It's only here. The opportunity to make something of your life is here. But our anchor is not in that. Our freedom is not in that. Our anchor and our freedom is in Jesus Christ. And what the enemy is trying to do is to rope us over, to bundle us together. And the barber said, get out of it uh, and stand fast. Uh, stand sure-footed. Uh, how can I get a witness here? Uh, in the freedom. Uh, man doesn't give it to you. God gave you uh, this freedom. Uh, liberate yourself because you're already liberated. Uh, come on now, walk in it. Uh, live in it. Uh, worship in it. Uh, praise in it. Uh, believe in it. Uh, celebrate your freedom in Jesus Christ can I get a witness here oh hallelujah celebrate your freedom in Jesus Christ and don't let what the enemy is doing turn us into something else because we are the people of God I said we are who? the people of God and if we let this situation turn us into who we are not supposed to be it will be sad we are the only hands right now God have to use and if we reject that he will get some more folks can I get a witness here we are the only voice that God have to use right now hallelujah he's independent of every one of us he know how to speak and he can use anybody but right now he chose the church of the living god can i get a witness here we are the only feet that god has to walk talk to me here we are free people nothing that goes on right now i'm not saying it doesn't bother us or concerns us but we are not going over the brink because we trust in god Talk to me, church. I said we trust in God. Our faith is in Jesus Christ. Because we know our freedom is in Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Our liberty is in Jesus Christ. He is the mediator between God and man. One God, one mediator between God and man, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that stands at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and for me. Keeping our freedom alive let's not mess it up it's time for us now to come together talk to me here and don't act stupid start praying for your block start to pray for the one on that side and the one on, don't, 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 don't. don't act so foolish now In every city, I believe there's a watchman. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? In every community, I believe there's a prayer warrior. Come on, he called about Shanda. Hallelujah. Don't let us neglect our responsibility. Start to pray. Don't say it's not bothering me because it will bother you. It will come right up to your door. Can I get a witness here? When your neighbor house flood, don't jump and rejoice because the water is still coming up. Oh, glory to God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The flood is still coming. Glory to God. And we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we are coming against principality. Oh, Lord Jesus. And against powers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Our weapons are not corner, but they are mighty true God to the pulling down. Oh, the Bacosanda, the pulling down a stronghold. Church, if our doors are closed, God Almighty help us. Can I get a witness here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The church need to pray. The church need to fast. The church need to see God. The church need to get ready. We are the light of the world. The salt of the earth. Can I get a witness here? We need to get ready. Oh, Shadow of the Bosa. Candy and Dosa. 
He's not here yet. He's on his way. But he's not here yet. And while he's on his way, let's work the work of him that sent me. While it is there, pull down the stronghold in your community. In the name of Jesus. This is my black Lord. I'm the Noah on the block. I'm the Abraham on the block. I'm the Isaiah on the block. I'm the Jeremiah on the block. I'm the Ruth on the block. I'm the Esther on the block. Can I? Oh, hallelujah. God, I'm your servant. I'm on the block. Pull him down. 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 Stronghold. Principalities. Powers. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Spiritual wickednesses. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. In high places. We ain't got no time for politics. We got time for praise. Can I get a witness here? We got time for prayer. Because we seek the power that comes from an eye. For every soul must be subject to the higher power. For all the powers that be, they are ordained of God. Somebody say power. Power. Wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. If never a time to plead the blood is now. If never a time to plead the name is now. It never time to read the word. It's now. It never time to seek his face. It's now. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The word of God. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Against every power of the enemy. The blood. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 no, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the blood of Jesus set me free. You pay the price, set me free. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know that the blood of Jesus set me free can I get a witness here we got work to do we got work to do the praise the prior God's power we need it hallelujah the three P's praise prior and power hallelujah a house of prior a house of praise a house of power can I get a witness here a praying church is a powerful church. A praising church is a powerful church. A powerful church is a powerful church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, can I get a witness in the house? Bring him down. Be steadfast. Unmovable. God, he be son. Be sure footed. Unmovable. It means that some stuff go come to try to move me. But I'm unmovable. Yeah, yeah, I go to the supermarket, but I'm unmovable. I take the same train, but I'm unmovable. Can I get a witness here? I vote, but I'm unmovable. Can I get a witness here? I have my choice, but I'm unmovable. Because I got to be always abounded in the works of the Lord. That's what I'm called to do. To work the work of him that sent me while it is there. For the time is coming when no man, when no man can work. But it's working time. It's working time. It's working time. We're moving towards evening time. But let us work. We are a worker for the Lord. Let us work. Let us pray. Let us labor every day in the vineyard of the Lord. Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David, a 
servant of the Most High God. Israel faces trouble. But David know that he's free by Jehovah. You know, Israel is a free people. But there came a Goliath. Can I get a witness here? And the Goliath raised his head. He said, I will destroy them. I will defy the armies of Israel. And I want to know which God is going to deliver them. The Bible said he cursed them. And he cursed their God. But oh, Goliath make a mistake. Because our God is not made out of wood and stone. <laughs> our God is not made out of brick and mortar. Our God is a real God. He's a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But David knew the kind of God he served. We are facing Goliath. Come on, children of God. Can I find a brother David? Can I find a sister David? We are facing Goliath. But in the name of Jesus. Oh, can I get a witness here? Where is the sling? Where is the sling? Where is the stone? Echo the motion. Where is the sword of the spirit? We are free people. We are free people. We're not going back into bondage. David got his sling. David got his stone. Can I get a witness here? And why Goliath come? He's fully armed with spears, with shields, with swords. All fully clad. All David had is a stone and a sling. Have you ever heard that stone and sling can kill giant? But listen to me. What he had was five stones. Five stones. J, somebody say E S U S. Jesus. You know what? He looked Goliath in the face and he moved towards him. He said, You come to me with your spear and your shield. But God, I come to you. Ay, ay, ay. I come to you in the name. Of the Lord, our God. You see, David realized it wasn't him. David realized he's fighting not against Goliath, but against principalities. <sighs> <sighs> Let me tell you something. The pressure of the Philistine. Those were cruel people, you know. And the pressure and the oppression of the Philistine drive the Israelis to go tread wheat in the wine press. Where they should be punching out wine, they were in their threshing wheat. That's where God found Gideon and called him a mighty man of valor. Listen to me. It was oppression. But David said, you come to me with the spear, I'm coming to you. Can I get a witness here? We're not supposed to get involved with the Philistine. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. That's not our place. Our place is in God. Can I get a witness here? We are different. We are blood washed. We are born again. We are royal priesthood. We are holy nation. We are peculiar people. We have been washed. We have been cleansed. We have been renewed. Can I get a witness here? We're not supposed to join the Philistine. Said, I come to you in the name. One stone. Knock him out. Drop him. We can't kill Goliath if we join Goliath. Did you hear what I say? You can't kill the enemy if you join the enemy. The enemy will kill you. Minister Nathan preaches a message and he, he, he makes a statement and he stays with me. You cannot choose. Which side you go fight on in the fight? You'll get hurt. Talk to me here. You have to choose a side before the fight start. Because when the fight start, 
you will position yourself. You know exactly who is the enemy. Am I talking right? Whose side are you fighting on? Come on, Christian, it's time to get on God's side. Can I get a witness here? Get on man's side and come on God's side. Oh, Jesus. Church! When the Bible says the things of God are spiritually discerned, and they only can be discerned by somebody that is spiritual, what, what do you think that means? Do you think the dead man, the man that's in the spiritual economy, can interpret that? No. I'm telling you, you can, you, you can listen to a professor. Lecture on the Lord is my shepherd. And you'll get very good information as to what it was in Eastern time and what shepherd does. And very good information that can let you pass your exam. But it means little or nothing to you. Am I talking right? And you can get the saints from the church stand before the same class. Am I talking right? And if one or two Christian believers is in that class, and that saints give five minutes of talk just on the Lord is my shepherd. And when you look around the room, that saints who understand spiritual things, you see tears or something under their face. And even the unregenerated man would sense that something is different about what's going on here. They sense the difference. We got to choose a side. Before the fight starts. Because we're free people. You can't win. When you choose a side in the fight. Am I talking right? Come on and tell the Lord thank you. Come on and tell the Lord thank you. I said tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord. Me choose a side one time. When the fight starts. And almost to my detriment. But you hear what I say? It's true. Because. My, my church brother got in an altercation with my biological brother, friends. Listen to this. When Christian folks go to get bad, they get bad, you know. Right to the church door, you know. Church was over. <laughs> and they got in an altercation. My church brother got in an altercation with my biological brother's friends. I came out and saw the commotion and I look and I say it's my church brother my church brother my brother my biological brother intervened trying to say you know it doesn't have to be like that my church brother get all antsy start swinging things he punched my biological brother <laughs> now if you're safe and you know it you have to say amen And I'm like, Lord Jesus, no. What is this? Because I'd gone up there trying to hold him. And he punched my brother. They say if I did go out there and choose a side. And start defending my brother. That wouldn't happen. But I choose a side. When the fight starts. Trying to hold him. Says my church brother. Am I talking right? I never hit him back. He's my church brother. I have to tell the devil you're a liar. This is really a big, tough one, but I can't let me and him know. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Am I talking right? Because he's still my brother in Christ. The devil kind of kick him, but he's still my brother in Christ. Yes, that's my biological brother, but this is my brother. In Pastor, what are you saying? I have to look at the bigger picture. Because the bigger picture wouldn't say that, oh, he was trying to defend his brother. The bigger picture would say, two church brother. A matter of fact, the evangelist and the church brothers start to fight. Disgrace. I have to cry my tears and hold myself and place it in the hands of God. You can't choose the fight when the fight starts. Get on the side of God. Get on the side of righteousness. Get on the side of love. Get on the side of peace. 
Can I decide of unity? Can I decide of togetherness? Can I get a witness here? Because we are free people. We are free people. The Son, Jesus Christ, make us free. And we are free indeed. And he said, we know the truth. Can I get a witness here? And Jesus is the way. And Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. And if you know the truth, the truth. Oh, come on and put your hands together and tell the Lord, thank you. The truth was set you free. Hallelujah. Where do we go from here? We're going to keep on keeping on because we're fighters. We're soldiers of the cross. And we are the army of the Lord. We're supposed to cry out, ask the Lord to stay his hands because the judgment is coming. Oh, hallelujah. The judgment is coming. It's only the people of God that stand between. Hallelujah. It was Lot and his family that stood between Sodom and Gomorrah. It was Nawar. Come back singers. It was Nawar and his family that stood between the flood. Can I get a witness here? And the people, hallelujah. We are the people of God. Oh, glory to God. We need to stand in the gap. But we cannot stand in the gap effectively until we come together. We must be on the same page. Can I get a witness here? We must let the wisdom of God rule in our hearts. I don't care who you want to vote for. That's your decision. That doesn't stop my friendship. That should not stop my love for you. That should not stop my fellowship with you. Because that's just one side of the coin. Can I get a witness here? The bigger side, we are together. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. The bigger side, we're sailing in the same ship. The bigger side, we serve the same Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness here? The bigger side, we know how to pray. We know how to seek the Lord. We know how to worship him. We are children of the most high God. That's the bigger side. That's the bigger side. Let's get hype. With Jesus. We get hype with everything else. Let's get hype with Jesus, man. Let's get excited and go tell everybody. Am I talking right about Jesus Christ? The world is dying. They need Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. They need Jesus. You know who Jesus is? He's hope for the hopeless. Can I get a witness here? Folks are dying. They ain't got no hope. Hallelujah. Let's not be selfish. Let's tell them about Jesus. Because Jesus saves. Jesus keeps. And Jesus satisfies. Don't let blind people lead us over the cliff. The things are spiritually discerned. Signs of the times are everywhere. Can you sense it, saints? There's a brand new feeling. Oh, God of mercy. You can sense it. Oh, hallelujah. Plague upon the land. Oh, Jesus of mercy. Wars and rumors of war. It's coming together. Nation against nation. The fig tree beginning to blossom. Can I get a witness here? Gentile dispensation is coming up to a close. Everything is setting to happen. Oh, can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. It doesn't mean we stop living. We keep on living. But keep our eyes on Jesus. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Keep our eyes upon the prize. Oh, glory to God. Keep on pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Don't look back. Go forward. Come on and put your hands together and tell it all. Thank you. Jesus is not coming when everybody get quiet. He's coming in the midst of eating and drinking. 
marrying and giving into marriage. Can I get a witness here? Everything goes on as normal, just the same. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. Can I get a witness here? And may I say this to all of us Gentiles, it's our time. Can I get a witness here? It's our time now. It's our time now to preach Jesus, to believe Jesus, to walk in our freedom. It's our time. What do you mean, pastor? Because when he comes for the church, dispensation for the Gentiles is closed. And he's going back to the Jews. Am I talking right? Because remember, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him to them, gave he power to become the sons of God. But he's going back to his people. Can I get an abaco, son? Hallelujah. John saw 144,000, 12,000 from every tribe. And when he asked, Who are these? They told him, These are those that have come through great tribulation and have washed their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our time to make it right. It's our time of grace. It's our time of mercy. It's our time of peace. Our time of love. Let us stand sure-footed on the promises of God because we are free people. Jesus set us free and we are free. We will not entwine ourselves. We will not go back in the yoke of bondage. Church, if you're safe, you believe in Jesus for who knows when, and you prove him he has been good to you. Why are you thinking now to believe something different? Am I talking right? Come on now. He has been good to you. Your neighbor didn't tell you that. You experienced that for yourself. Can I get a witness here? Let's stay with Jesus. We're on the last lap. Can I get a witness here? I said, we're on the last lap. We are heading on. We are heading on. We are, <laughs> we are heading on. We are heading on. Oh, oh hallelujah. It's a pastor. No, no, no. We're heading on home. Not everybody goes stay for the rapture. Some of us getting out of here before the rapture. But we're heading on home. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about why we are here. Let's do what we have to do. Because we are here. We are his voice. His hands. His feet, his eyes, his hairs, his mouth. Hey, we are his. Let's use it to bring glory, bring honor, and bring praise. And we are Christian first before we are anything else. We are a child of God first before we are anything else. We are blood washed first before we are anything else. We are born again first before we are anything else. We are peacemaker first before we are anything else. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> oh, Hari Bakos and Baba Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are so different because we baptize, not because we get saved. Hallelujah. Or what we're trying to get saved. We baptize because we are saved. We save first and then we baptize. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. So we are new creature first. And anything that's going to jeopardize that, we have to come back to who we are. Come back to your roots. Am I, nobody ever tell you that yet? Come back to your roots. Some people get such stage in life and forget where they're coming from. A young lady leave the country one time. She go to the city. For about six months. She came back. Independent. What was it? Six, August 6th? August 6th. The island's independent. She came back. Well dressed. The shop that she left. The grocery shop didn't move. The wall. That was there. A little piece of wall we call down a wall. She never moved on gone. The wall was still there. She came out. From her house, came up. Stand by the wall. The shop is across from the wall. And she said, I wonder where is the shopping? (laughs) 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 
Six months, you know. And she came back and came and find the shop. And the shop didn't move. Let's not forget where he brought us from. Can I get a witness here? It's the same God that brought us from way down here and have us right here. It's the same God. What did he require then? He required the same now. Can I get a witness here? We got to remember that he's the same God. We have work to do, saints. We have work to do. Let's stay on the Lord's side. Stand with me today. Stay on the Lord's side. We are people of freedom. We are free people. Don't get ourselves entangled in the yoke of bondage. What Paul was addressing, even though I come from a different hand, as the Lord will have me, the, the, the Jews were saying to the Gentiles, you have to circumcise in order to receive salvation. And Paul says, no. No, 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 no. You don't have to go back to cutting off your foreskin. Circumcise your heart. Hallelujah. You're now transformed from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Revival is no more in your flesh. It's in your spirit. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. And we are no more children of the flesh, but of the spirit. We don't walk no more in the flesh, but we walk in the spirit. So as the people of God that stands in freedom, we are walking in the spirit. Let us, let's not go back to the things and the rudiment and the, of the flesh, what society does, but stay on board. Because no matter how the ship rock, no man's life will be lost if we stay Come on and put your hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah. i close with this. A lot of folks love new thing. New thing. My daughter had a beautiful head of hair. And it was beautiful. Love to see it. But a new thing came along. She went to school. She saw her friend. Put stuff in the hair. Flowing and looking good. She forget immediately how beautiful her hair was. She came home and she said, I want that. Remember the program on TV, I want that. I want that. I said, no, no, no. And she go on and on and on. Her mom said, all right. She want it. Let's not turn her off by trying to prevent her from getting it. Because she may think that's the end of the world. So she got it. Three weeks after, the hair was all the way here. When it looked three weeks, it coming up here. I'm not lying. And by the time six weeks come, it's gone. New thing. I said, look at you. Had your beautiful head of hair. And you saw a new thing. Now you have nothing. Look, struggle. Listen, my church. It gets so bad till mama to cut it to save the root to let it grow new here. And until this day, it never come back to what it was. New thing. We love to run follow the new thing. Hallelujah. Ay, ay, ay. We don't check it out first. And we throw away the old thing. Oh, throw out the old furniture them. So them too ugly. And get the new one them. Pretty like money. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. And before you know it, two sit down on the dining chair, the foot break out. Only pretty. The new thing. Be careful. Of the new thing. Huh? The new thing is dangerous. Earthly new thing is dangerous. Am I talking? All right. Woo! Your face. All of a sudden, I look good again. 
You want a new thing? You get the new thing? Look pretty for the morning. Beautiful. The next Sunday when you see you, how can I bump? Booga booga all over your face. The new thing. If you don't check out the new thing. Ay, 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 ay. Am I talking right? Hallelujah. You know where we are, saints? Be smart. Take up your food. Don't be foolish. Research. But take up your food. Put it before God. Say a prayer. And eat and tell God thanks. Do thing. Be careful. And so in the natural, so in the spirit, the new thing. See, you don't need no Holy Ghost again. All you need is a shake. Oh, yeah. And that cool. Those of, who, those of us who have the baptism of the Holy Ghost know this all oh, don't work. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For demon beat up fake Christian all the time. But the new thing is that everybody is baptized in the Holy Ghost. Don't believe it, worship center. Don't believe it. Faith worship center, don't believe that. If you're not yet baptized, seek God. He go come. He go baptize you. Never give up. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting. And I got news for you. Drive out of your life. The folks who keep whispering in their ears. Hindering you from receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Drive them out. Drive them out. Drive them out. They got the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost too. Drive them out. Hallelujah. What you hear affect you. What you hear bother you. Don't pretend it affects you. Drive them out. For you need the baptism. You need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The battle get hot. You need the baptism. The conflict soar. You need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The new thing. The new thing. It's one new thing we're supposed to look for. And it's the new heaven and the new heart. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? Apart from that, no more new thing. It's no new. Nothing new under the sun. He called So we're looking for the new thing. There's no new thing. Huh? What we need to do to look good is to address ourselves. Let's say to address ourselves. I pay a guy. I'm closing. But let me just go on to the Holy Spirit business. I pay a man. Copy two, two years ago to come and wash my house. And the man came and he washed the house. And he takes the pressure, the water, and the pressure, the pressure hose. And he washed that house and he beat off even the very color. When I look on the ground and the driveway, all the color and the siding. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I said, Lord, what is this? Two years later, I call another guy to wash the house. When he finished with my house two years ago, all the water marks and spots dry on it. I thought like oil throw away on it. Just another look good. Got a guy come two years after, wash the house. He come with soap. He come with all this stuff. He wash my house. Listen to me. He give the house a good washing. It dries. It looked like I just put the siding on. Did you hear what I say? It looks like I just put the siding on. Church, we don't need a new thing. We need to check out ourselves. And when we get in line with God, we look like him just put the blood on. You didn't hear what I said. Can 
can I use for an example? Come here. I, I don't mean you, but I'm just saying I'm using an example. You got some bad ways. You know, like cook. You don't like clean. You don't have no manners and no behavior. You're independent. You feel like you and you and you only you. No man can talk to you. But you need a man. You really think you need a man? If no man can talk to you, are you not cooking and cleaning? You're, you're, what, what are you talking about? But you need a man. You need a husband. You, you don't need no man. You need to adjust yourself. Start cooking and clean and wash. And... Am I talking right? You don't need a new thing. You need to behave. Readjust. Look in yourself. Fix yourself. And then you won't even need one. One will just see you and find you. Can I get a witness here? When we set ourselves in the word of God. When we stand fast in the liberty. When we stand therefore on the promises of God. We look new. We look renewed. Refresh. Revive. Clean. Blessing. Favor. Somebody say blessing. Blessing. Favor. Blessing. 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 In. that's what we need no need the new thing we need to fix who we are oh <laughs> tell the Lord thank you fix fix who we are and fix never get fixed enough anything we don't like that's what my wife keeps on doing in us as long as in her life and death what me not like and she said foolish is that you need to overcome that. And me gonna be your torn. You're torn until you overcome it. And she keep doing it. And she ain't nobody me no more. You didn't hear what I say. I'm not talking detrimental things. We know how we cagey. And there are some things we don't like. And it's utter foolishness. She didn't stop doing it until I get over it. Thank God for that. Hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. No, but I can find no new thing. You fix yourself. If a new thing come to you, when you fix yourself. You didn't hear what I say. Because the same old you. Are the same you. Oh, pastor, when I get $10,000, I go start save. And you get $5, you're not saving. Come, come on. Talk to me here. Talk to me here. Make adjustment. Fix you. Oh, we are free people. We are acting like we're in bondage. We're not in bondage. We are free in Jesus. We are blessed people. Holy people. Righteous people. Let's do what God desires and declare for us to do. And if we don't do anything, let's keep praying. That the doors of the tabernacle will stay open. And the people of God will be able to worship. Come on and put your hands together.